Can you hear me? Yeah! Anybody bring their fucking kids? Yeah! And regret it. What's up, McAllen? People say to me, you ever been to the valley before? I said, yeah, the San Fernando Valley. It's the one in California, man. I didn't know we were in the valley. I just got off a plane. There I was. <laughs> so, they couldn't afford a moderator, so it's just you and me. <laughs> so, uh, if there's anything you've been dying to ask me, now's the time. All right, our first question was, well, first, thank you for coming here. Um, I was going to say if there's going to be a three, but he said no, but I don't know which one to respond. I guess I'll just say, do you get recognized often? Um, every once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> will there be a Hellboy 3? Might as well just say it. No, there, there will not be a Hellboy 3, but there will be a new Hellboy. They're calling it a reboot. Will you be a part of it? Which means I got the fucking boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, got, they got some whole new motherfucker. <laughs> All right, thank um, you. Claiming he's Hellboy. Well, thank you. We'll see. Thank you. They want to know the, uh, which one you prefer working on better, Hellboy or Sons of Anarchy? Oh, God. It's tough. It's tough. I like them both for very different reasons, you know? Anytime I'm working with Guillermo del Toro is uh, just a pure, pure pleasure. Um, he's got a new movie that's uh, about to open called The Shape of Water. It's killing it all over the world right now, film festivals. He's uh, the real deal. So he's the reason I was Hellboy. Um, very good friend, very good collaborator. And working on that character with that director was uh, pretty special. But Sons of Anarchy was pretty special too for its own reason. So far you've been known for working with a lot of prosthetic characters and I'm just curious to see like what is it like working with artists like Rick Baker and Sam Winston and Michael Zoltz Phenomenal. I mean those are the three three of the best guys alive right now, you know. Um, Rick Baker is a legend and uh, he was responsible for two of the best characters I've ever had the honor and pleasure of playing. He's just, um, it's amazing. I mean, you know, you're completely covered in rubber, you know, which is an inanimate object. But, you know, there's something about the way he applies the makeup and designs the makeup so that if, if, I'm, if I just need to look sad, I just look, feel sad. And, Reads. I don't know how they do that, it's like alchemy. But the, the state of the art is um, pretty advanced, and um, those are the three best guys on the planet. What was the first movie you ever worked on with Guillermo del Toro? Kronos. Woo. Yeah. Kronos. Kronos was made in like 1990. And that was his first movie. He was 26 years old, and uh, we became like hermanos, <laughs> and uh, have now done six movies together. And uh, you know, I'm really glad I said yes to Kronos. <laughs> hey, did he hook you up with that tequila he just made? No, man. <laughs> I'd be pissed if I was you. Pinchy motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see him like tomorrow. I'm gonna say, what's up with the tequila pinchy pancho? <laughs> right, so, uh, I, you guys are already pretty hard on Sons of Anarchy on the show. How do you know? <laughs> were you there? <laughs> if you were there, you saw some shit. <laughs> For the first few years, and then we all ended up not liking each other. <laughs> <laughs> Typical when you get that much testosterone in one place. 
I'm just joking. Some of us still like each other. <laughs> what did you do? Not many, but not many, but some. What did you do before you started acting? Um, I was in the womb. <laughs> Swimming around like a little tadpole. <laughs> I've never not been acting. Uh, I know recently Jerry Lewis just passed away. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Jerry. I know it's hard because once you get started, it's hard for you. To we start. have people in the room who, who, you know, you can't say that name, you know, without eliciting profound, deep. Motion. I'm not going to mention any names, Mary. <laughs> I just had a question, Mom. I know that um, the new reboot is not, um, you're not going to be the new Hellboy, but I'm just saying, if they didn't, they didn't reboot the Hellboy series, and if they were to make an Iron Noble movie, would you still be willing to play the role as Hellboy? Um. You know, I, I, it's pretty well chronicled that I really wanted to make Hellboy 3 because that was part of, you know, what had already been planned as a trilogy, you know, which had a beginning, a middle, and an end. We unfortunately stopped in the middle, and then there was a lot of discussion about, you know, uh, whether enough people were going to agree to go make Hellboy 3. I was always, you know, in front of the charge to make it because I felt like we owed it to the fans who hung in there for the first two installments to see how it, how it ended. And I also know that Guillermo had an amazing idea for the third film, The Resolve. Um, but we couldn't, uh, we just couldn't all agree on everything and then eventually um, some of us, won't mention their names, decided they wanted to go in a different direction. And uh, truth be told, they asked me, you know, if I'd be interested in coming along, and I said, no, I'm only interested in finishing the trilogy. I'm 67 years old, I'm not really going to be playing a superhero for much longer, and, but these are the terms. And I'm only interested in doing it if Guillermo del Toro was doing it. So that's why uh, there was a split. Uh, do you want to know a little bit about the process of your voice and the character you played in Afro Samurai? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how do you perform it? Because I don't sound like you at all. Like, no, man. I mean, you know, I said to myself, okay, here's this bad guy who is kind of like a, a black guy wannabe. <laughs> you know, he's not black. Afro Samurai is black. And he's, you know, there's, there's clearly this, like, penis envy of, you know, um, you know and, I, and think, think about that. I, I wasn't, that wasn't what I was going to say, but now that I think about it, yeah, that, probably there were that, that's what that was. But anyway, um, uh, so I, I, I decided to play a guy who, who wants to be black and thinks he's black. And then I decided to uh, model the, uh, the voice after Miles Davis. He spoke, you know, down here like that. Yeah. Yeah, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> you want me to do it again? Write a check, bro. Thanks, Ron. Uh, he wants to know Marvel or DC? Um, Schwinn. <laughs> and uh, he wants to know if you've ever worked with someone you didn't like on oh, a film or sure. project. <laughs> All the time. All the time. The trick is to uh, make them not know that you don't like them. And if you happen to be playing opposite them and they're playing your wife or something like that. That's a real trick. This <laughs> is uh, convince the audience that everything's good. But yeah, it happens all the time. There's a lot of assholes in the business. Uh, she wants to know, as far as the makeup went on Hellboy, uh, how long it took for them to put it on, and if it was heavy, as far as uh, the hat that you were using. The makeup wasn't particularly uh, 
heavy or cumbersome. It got hot in August. Um, we shot the movie over almost seven months. So we started in the spring, we shot all through the summer, we shot all through the fall, and we ended up in middle winter. So we've, we shot the movie literally in all four seasons. And the summer months were hot. What was, what was heavy was the coat and the belt, and that tail was really heavy, you know. You know the, tail, the tail that wagged. So that was radio controlled, so there was all these gears and wires and everything. How you doing, Mr. Perlman? Um, actually, I used to work for Dennis Hopper, rest in peace, at his film festival, Cine Vegas. And he once asked me who I wished to work with. This was David Lynch I was drinking with, with Dennis. And I mentioned you. Um, and they said, who? They asked, <laughs> I mentioned you. No, and they said, who the fuck is that? No, they didn't actually. Um, they, they asked, uh, when I was asking uh, David, it was uh, we were talking about, back then, the iPods were only that little small screen. So we're talking about which movies, whether or not the movies would ever make an iPod in a larger screen, or not an existing time. But I mentioned that I wanted to work with you, not as Hellboy, but just because you have such a large range of characters. And that's why I said I really do want to know your agent's information because I, I'm from here, from McAllen, I'm born and raised, but I live in Las Vegas. I, uh, I stay in Maryland, in California when I do production work in California. So yeah, uh, I really do see. I feel that I could write something one day that you could work in. So you're a writer? Yes, sir. Producer, right, well, we'll, uh, well, I also worked in adult industry, so I won an APN in 2010 for my college. You work in the adult industry? Yes, sir. I won a we re I may end up there. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you can look up my work on www.mnfbcx.com. It was a 30 year Oh, I'll look up your work all right. <laughs> Chances are I probably went ahead and uh, looked at it already. Uh, hey, you know what? Um, I better shut up. Hang on, I didn't get it. <laughs> but uh, let me just, before you, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. so Dennis Hopper and David yeah, Lynch I show you the photos, a matter of fact. are two, they're giants. I mean, they're, yes, like, sir. they're, um, they're real heroes of mine. Yeah, I'll and, show you the photos. And, and, and for you to say that in front of them, I thank you very much. I owe you a debt of well, gratitude. Uh, no debt. I really do want to work with you. Let me show you a photo. I'm here with debt. This is David Lynch and I. And I have one with Dennis Hopper and I. Well, this is... Uh, Just talk amongst yourselves. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was 2007. Yeah. Where they got me drunk. I don't drink. Oh, yeah. But anyway, pleasure meeting you. We'll swap info. Definitely. Uh, let me give this back. I'll shut up now. <laughs> Hi, Ron. Um, Hi. My question is that you started off as an actor and then... I started off as an actor and now look at me. How did I end up like this? Yeah. <laughs> and then you started... You know, tough. Hollywood is tough. Man. Yeah. They so, would chew you up and then look at... Well, really look at you. Yeah. Well, you know, you started off as an actor and then 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 you started off as an actor Okay, whatever. <laughs> I apologize. Anyway. No, no, don't worry about it. No. Okay, you can. I know you have a point you're getting to. Yes. And then, and then you went up to doing voice acting on cartoons like Teen Titans and, and on uh, Adventure Time. And I was wondering how'd you go from actor to voice actor and then go back to acting again? Well, it's all acting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like uh, the, good, the good news about being a voice actor is that you don't have to wear pants when you're doing it. Which is probably a perfect segue to my, my, my new career in adult <laughs> films. But yeah, I mean, you know, the characters you play on cartoons are, are it's like just like any other character that you would play as an actor. It's just a voice. Your voice is doing all the work. And, um, and then they animate to your voice. So it's all acting. Okay. And what was the first cartoon that, they, that you voiced in? Uh, it was called Bonkers. Oh, oh yeah! Anybody? Yeah. 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 I know! Cartoon. Jim Cummings was the lead in that. Oh, yeah. Andrea Romano was the director. She directed all the stuff at Warner Brothers, which was the best continues to be one of the best uh, outlets for animated uh, programming. And she is a giant. And she gave me my start and continues to, to um, give me all these phenomenal opportunities.
Okay, thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Good afternoon, Mr. Cronin. Hello. I follow you on Instagram and on other social media. Is it true you're going to run for president? Oh, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> on 2020? 2020. Maybe before.